Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and welcome to the long-anticipated MLB predictions for the 2019 season. Yes, it's about that time again. It feels like spring training went by really fast for some reason, but uh, yeah, so what we're going to do this year, I feel like every year, you know, you come out your predictions, say who's going to win, but you know, it's not fun, and I don't want to bet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play along with you guys, so if you guys want to, you don't have to, I'm not forcing you, but we're going to play a little game, so... This is how it's going to work. If you're within 10 wins of um of a, a team for the season, if you comment below your 10 uh, 10 wins off, that's 1 point. 5 wins is 2 points. Uh then if you're only 1 game away, it's 3 points. And if you get it exactly, you're going to get 5 points or should it be more. I think that's a little bit. Yeah, just just to say 5 points for now. And then um we're not going to give and if um per team that you get right in the playoffs, it's going to be another two points. So, you know, you pick the Red Sox, whatever. But, yeah, if you, whatever teams you pick, you get two points each. And then for each uh, series that you get right in the playoffs, you get another three points um, for the first round, four points for the second round. Uh, and then for the World Series, if you get the champion right, you get ten points or something like that. I'll have the official scoring below. So we're going to do something like that. I haven't made up my mind. But we're going to have a little scoring system to see... How, who can get the most points? But yeah, let's get into the video. So let's start off with the American League East. My standings are as follows. So it goes Yankees, Red Sox, Rays, Blue Jays, Orioles. Um, actually, no, I have the Blue Jays above the Rays. I'm not really buying the Rays this year, sorry. Um, <laughs> I was going to say that that's what everyone had. Everyone has the Rays over the Blue Jays. But I think with the, the, um, the Blue Jays' youth, they can pass Tampa. Last year was kind of an aberration for Tampa. They Although they have Blake Snell and they have... Um, I forgot who, um, they had a really good pitcher last year who kind of showed out. He showed like he was developing. I don't think one pitcher is your entire team. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have the, the Rays falling. Because, yeah, I, I want to switch it up a little bit. I think last year was, they kind of overperformed because they kind of got lucky with the whole opener situation. And they're due for regression this year. And plus the, the Blue Jays have a lot of youth. Uh, Vlad, Vlad Guerrero Jr. is going to come up in May because of that dumb contract situation where you, you want control of him completely. The Yankees had a really good offseason, I think. A pretty underrated offseason. It felt everyone's like, oh yeah, they need Manny. They need uh, Bryce Harper. They didn't really need any of those guys. You have to build a locker room culture. If you start bringing in all these stars, it's going to end up like 2009-ish. We just have a bunch of stars, and we only won one World Series out of that whole thing. I remember when A-Rod joined in 2004, so everyone's like, oh, we're going to win, like, 50 World Series, you know? But we only won one out of that squad, so there's that. But it's hard to win World Series, too. Um, our starting pitching is pretty solid. Uh, CC is going to go on injured reserve to start the season, but I think we should be good. We, we had a lot of um, underrated acquisitions, smart spending rather than just spending. Uh, the Red Sox. My main question is their starting. Uh, is their relief pitching? Craig Kimbrell. I never really bought into him. Uh, I think he's a little overrated. Of uh, he used to be good, but last year towards the end of the season he was kind of a liability. So there's that. The um, let's move on to the AL Central. Everyone has the um, Cleveland Indians taking the division, and I don't see how they don't. Um, they have Francisco Lindor. They have, and they, they got rid of anyone in Carnacion, but they have Josh Donaldson. They have a bunch of players that seem like every year they can be MVPs. Um, plus, you have a really beast uh, starting pitching. They remind me a lot of the Astros. Them and the Astros are basically the same exact team. They did lose Andrew Miller this year, which will hurt them. But I still think that they're going to win this division. It's a one-team race. Then you have the Twins. I mean, they overperformed a couple years ago, and last year they kind of dropped off. I think they're going to surge a little bit this year, but it won't be enough to make the playoffs. You have Joe Maurer, who's not – I think he retired. Um, they, they they did make a lot of low-key uh, off-season acquisitions that went under the radar, but I still think that their pitching is a huge question, and, yeah, there's that. <laughs> and then the bottom three teams, they're the bottom three teams, so we don't really talk much about them. Uh, the Tigers will be a little healthy, so I give them the edge over the Chicago White Sox for now. Because Chicago, even though they have a lot of youth, it doesn't seem they they needed Manny Machado to take this team to the next level. And without that kind of signing, it doesn't give this team any juice or any kind of motivation to be better. You know that that's what I feel. 
Uh, the Detroit Tigers, Miguel Cabrera, he has to have a healthy season within here somewhere, right? Um, they got rid of a lot of old veterans, but you know, like I said, you still have you still have the little core players from a couple years ago, and then Kansas City Royals just happens to a small market team, you know. And then for the AL West, I have the Angels winning this division. Everyone thinks it's a lock for the Astros. In no way, shape, or form do I think it's a lock for the Astros. No division is a lock, really. Um, e- even the uh, AL, even the AL Central. But I have the Angels win this division because I right, yeah Mike Trout on a new contract. He's gonna be happy. I think he's gonna make an MVP run. Then you have oh, Shohei Otani that's time. coming back. I think that um, that combination, uh, as well as Simmons, BJ Upton, and a couple other guys, they're. The only question is for them is pitching, and I think that they'll be able to oust the Astros. The Astros lost a lot of players. Dallas Keuchel is a free agent that they might pick up. Um, they, they lost a lot of a lot of starting pitching, and that, that's worrying to me. You need players like Carlos Correa to step up to help this offense. You know, to help this offense. Uh, you know, score more runs than the deep. You know, the uh, pitchers will allow. So that's why I have them there. The Athletics. I have them dropping by quite a bit. Um, usually the team that overperforms one year, they don't really stick around. Kind of like the Rays. So, yeah, those two teams. I've been dropping off only by a couple games this year, but it's enough for them not to make the playoffs. And then then you have the Seattle Mariners and Texas Rangers. Seattle, I think that they, they're set up for the future. I like their moves. They got rid of Nelson Cruz. They got rid of um, Robinson Cano, Edwin Martinez. I think they will be hovering on 75 wins this season. Nothing special, but again, not not like the Marlins or the Rangers, who the Rangers need to figure out whether Gallo is their guy. You know, Gallo is is like a perfect representation of a a player in today's age. Well, for the last couple of years too, either three outcomes, you know, strike, walk, or um, home run, a uh, strikeout, walk, or home run. You know, th- that type of player. So the Rangers should finish in the bottom of the division. Um, going into a new stadium, I, I really hate that they have a new stadium, but that's besides the point. Let's go into the NL East. I have the Phillies winning this division. Yes, everyone made fun of me last year because it was like, oh, you know, the Phillies, they're not going to play well. Um, although I was off with a lot of other teams, I was right on with the Phillies. Um, I like their attitude with the guy destroying, like, the Fortnite machine or whatever. They're playing, like, Xbox. He's, like, destroyed it when they're on a nine-game losing streak. They were on pace to exceed my win total last year of 82 wins, but then they dropped down to 80. Um... I think that they'll exceed, not exceed, I think they'll meet expectations this year because they do have a lot. You have uh, Bryce Harper. You signed JT Ramuto, David Robertson. Uh, you you know, the only question is starting pitching, but we saw what happened with the Brewers. They can deal without starting pitching. Then I have the Nationals. They're still good. They only lost one player. Bryce Harper wasn't that effective from last year. They should finish a little worse than they did last year. And plus, they added a, a new starting pitcher. He should win a couple more games for you. Uh, that's why I have them there. The Mets, I don't have them making the playoffs. Sorry. I watched a video that had the Mets versus Yankees in the World Series. Sorry, that's not going to be the case. Um, I think hitting is still a major concern for this team. Um, they have good starting pitching. That's p- kind of getting old. Not old, but like they're starting to get more injured. And you know, Jacob DeGrom, it, it feels like none of them will ever, ever are able to stay healthy. So that's why I have them third. Then I do like how they got rid of Todd Frazier. I think they got rid of Todd Frazier. He's kind of just a guy in the locker room, but you need to get rid of him. So next I have the Braves. I have Last year I didn't have them playing that well. This year I have them just falling back to normality. Everyone stayed healthy from last year. Everything went right, and they only had like 90 wins. So that's why I have them falling back um, that far. Sorry um, to all you guys fan. I can't see the Braves in the playoffs. And then the Marlins. They're still a couple years out. They're in a complete rebuilding mode. He, Derek Jeter's trying to change that franchise, so that's an upset about them. So the AL Central, um, the NL Central, I always get confused. I'm, I'm transitioning between football and baseball, sorry. Um, I have the Cardinals in first place with 99 wins. Um, I, I have Paul Goldschmidt as my MVP. I, I just love him. Uh, last year I thought, you know, I, I thought he was a little overrated, but the, like I saw... I think he's going to win the MVP this year. I'm buying them completely. Um, starting pitching is a little bit of a question, but then again, there's only a couple of teams that have starting pitching really figured out, so I think they should be able to solve it. Um, then I have the Brewers uh, next because 
you know, they had 97. They, they're the former division champs, so I have to respect them. I have them stealing a wild card spot. Next, I have the Reds, then the Cubs, then the Pirates. I have the Reds because they have to, they're have they in win-now mode, and everyone knows, so they'll be, like, highly motivated. And when they when they go on a win streak, they'll go on a win streak. You know, everybody will be uh, motivated to play because <laughs> this team has sucked for a while, and especially with a lot of aging players. But then you brought in a lot of youth. Um, you did you you did bring in Matt Howard, Harvey, uh, but I still think they should. And actually, no, my, they got rid of Matt Harvey, but uh, I still think this team is better than the Cubs, who are really suffering from long contracts. And it feels like this team is just waiting for something to happen, and they're kind of moping around. It's it's kind of sad to see the fall of the Cubs, uh, the Cubs one year dynasty. But uh, it you know it's it, had, it has to happen. I think this year is kind of the year where they blow it up. They fire Joe Madden. And yeah, all that stuff happens. I, I just don't believe in the Pirates. Last year, they 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 were fighting for wild cards part in like early September, and I was like, oh wow, like they're actually fighting for something. But I I don't see this team being any good this year. Uh, so let's go on to the NL West, AL West, I know, NL West. Uh, you have the Dodgers. Um, you have the Dodgers. You have the Padres. You have the Rockies. I I saw the Dodgers winning this division. They added AJ Pollock. Um, Clean Kershaw is what he used to be. Um, you got rid of yes LP. You got rid of so uh, um, you got rid of a lot of players. Uh, so I still think this team is good, but it seems like you know their regular seasons aren't uh up to par with how they do in the playoffs. So that's why well, I saw them in first place, but I have them falling back just a little bit. Uh, last year I had them over 100 wins. This year I have them in the low 90s. So next place I have the Rockies. You still have Chase Blackman. You still have. Um, Nolan Arenado, you have that core. So I think they're still going to play well. They got, you know, they've been slowly losing players, but unlike the Arizona Dimebacks, they can get rid of everybody. Um, they want Nolan Arenado to be there for the rebuild, to be there for the long run. So that's good for them. Next, I have the Padres, not the Giants, the Padres, because, you know, you have Tatis Jr., you have the best farm system in the league. These guys are going to start to produce, plus, you have a veteran in that locker room. Man, but not really a veteran, but you know, an older presence, a guy who's proven himself already. You know, they're. I think they're gonna play pretty well. I think they're gonna be over 80 wins this year, for the first time in what feels like <laughs> forever. So, next I have the Giants. The Giants are better than the Diamondbacks. We have Buster Posey. Um, he it feels like he's like the best catcher in the league besides Yachty. And yeah, I think this team that they, they have pretty good starting pitching. Uh, the it feels like every uh, odd year they play well. Besides 2017, they had that like streak where it's just like 2011, 2013, 2015. So I think th- uh, this year they don't do that, but they're not as bad as people think. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are last because they're in a full, complete rebuild. The only player you pretty much have is Zach Greinke, and he cannot pitch 162 games in the year. That's physically impossible. So yeah, there's that. Let me know what you guys think about my regular season predictions. Let's move on to the playoffs where I have the Nationals versus the Brewers in the NL and then the Red Sox versus the Astros in the wild card. Um, it, it feels bad that one of these teams has to go home, but I think the Red Sox are more, uh, they're better at a one game uh, series because you can, a one game playoff because you can just pitch all your starting pitchers uh, if you need to. So, especially Chris Sale, David Price, you know the guys. So, I think the Red Sox win that, and then the Nationals beat the Brewers. And okay, so the Red Sox would play the Yankees, and the Yankees would win that series because I don't think the Yankees are going to lose to the Red Sox twice. And then you have the Cleveland Indians versus the Angels. I have the Angels winning that series because the Indians always choke in the playoffs. Then for the uh, National League, I have the um, Nationals versus versus the Cardinals. I have the Cardinals winning that series and advancing to the NLCS. Then I have the um, Dodgers versus the, sorry, the Phillies. And then I have the Phillies winning that series. Uh, the Dodgers, I don't think they're going to make the World Series this year. I think the Cardinals and the Yankees are. And I have the Yankees in six with the MVP being Aaron Judge. No, no, wait, no, Aaron Hicks, sorry, Aaron Hicks. And yeah, so those are my predictions. I'll leave the rest of my, like, awards predictions in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in my next one bye guys